Hi and welcome to the second in a series of videos where I'll be showing you how to modify Technic SL1210 Mark IIs with blue LED lights. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to adjust the target light with a custom blue LED. Uh, this deck has already been modified um, but I'm going to dismantle it, show you the process of doing it and show you how to what the original looks like compared to the new one. Okay, to start off with, make sure you're down to this stage where the deck is stripped down. If you haven't got that done, go check out the first video. Uh, and obviously make sure everything is disconnected. Leads, uh, power cable, everything. And you've just got a isolated deck uh, stripped down to this stage. No feet, base is unscrewed, and all the insides are removed from here. Uh, with that being said, let's move on to the next stage. Now with the target light, uh, you've got a couple of wires that come through a hole here where the target light is, so pop your target light up, uh, you'll see you might have a cable tie just attached at this point, you'll want to snip off that cable tie like so and obviously have a replacement ready for after, after we've done the modification. Uh, you'll see a brown and orange wire that go around the side of this circuit board here, up to the top here, uh, where you will see marked on the circuit board it says lamp. Uh, now that's obviously the lamp connection, so what we're going to do here is just pull out the little connector, like so, quite easy, don't need any force, and feed it underneath the pitch control cable, which comes in through here. Gently feed the cable through this opening here. The only reason we're doing that is because we're now going to turn the deck over. So if you've still got your lid, replace the lid. If not, uh, a pillow, uh, a little bean bag, something that when you turn it over, you're not going to be resting it on the tone arm or anything else. Obviously, I'm using the lid. This is an old lid because it's all damaged, so it doesn't matter if it cracks or gets scratched or anything like that. So turn that back over and then remove the rubber housing from underneath like so and here you can see at the bottom here our cables are pulled nicely through with the originals there's a small bit of fabric tape here uh, where the cables are probably fed through so you just need to cut that off uh, to expose the cable so you can get them out and take the screwdriver and you've got two brass screws here, so undo these screws on the mounting plate, one there, and one here. That's the mounting screws removed, and quite simply, it comes out. Now then, with the target light popped up, uh, you're going to see the aluminium housing which when popped up you'll see a very small screw right at the bottom there, a small Phillips screw, Let's take a small Phillips screwdriver, unscrew that and be careful not to lose the screw because it's very small, put that to one side and very gently just pull off the metal housing like so and your target light is exposed. Now if you take a look at this picture here uh, you'll see this is the original of how it's set up uh, with the uh, small capacitor in between the two connections there. Uh, what you're going to do is leave the brown cable attached, uh, that's the brown cable that connects onto the PCB board, uh, and you can either just snip off the capacitor at the brown wire and desolder the bottom black wire which actually attaches to the light. Uh, the black cable then attaches to the orange cable, uh, so we can disconnect that as well, uh, as all we need is the brown and orange cable. And then gently, uh, you're going to remove this bulb from the housing. Now what you'll see is just at the top of the switch, you'll see where the black cables are, there's some uh, grey plastic that's uh, around the cable. Now this is because there's a small hole where the wires feed through. Now obviously when you're feeding the new wires through you want to be very careful that you don't start stripping the plastic casing from around the wire otherwise you're going to cause a short connection. So 
when putting the new one in, be very, very careful on how to do that. But there you go, that's the old one, uh, that's how that looked. And if we come back to the one that's modified, you'll see that uh, across these two connections, the capacitor is removed because the capacitor is actually attached to the LED. And I've soldered the black wire from the LED to the bottom switch where the black wire originally was. Brown wire is still left on there. The uh, red live cable, that's attached to the orange cable now, which is then soldered and to make sure that there's no shorts or connections by touching some metal, I've then wrapped it in electrical tape uh, just to insulate it and protect it. Uh, there's the small little hole that I was talking about, you can just about see it there. So you want to be careful when you're feeding your new cable through there that obviously if the target light is popped out, it's quite easy to brush it against this metal and uh, have it start stripping the, uh, the plastic off and then you're going to cause yourself a short. Now once you get to this stage, uh, one thing you can do is bend the LED very very gently to a 90 degree angle uh, just because the light shines out of the LED that way. Uh, you can bend it 90 degrees and it will shine in a small V formation across the top of the, uh, the record. So with that done, you're going to take your metal housing again and replace that back onto the top. And as you can see, my LED just sticks out right at the very bottom of it. If it's not fitting in properly, just pull your LED back out slightly. You've probably pushed it down too far. And vice versa, if it's too far at the top, you know, you can push it down a little bit more. And once you get it into a position that you like, keep it there. Take the very small screw back, replace that into the housing and screw it back into place. Just so. Do it, only do it finger tight, you don't need to overdo it. With that done, that's completed the installation of the LED. Now what I can do is start putting it all back together, which is just a reverse of taking it apart. Uh, make sure that you are facing the right way when you put it in. You can't really go wrong because it doesn't fit if you put it the wrong way around. There's two little plastic nodules here that fit into these two little holes here, right next to the screws. And they seat it nicely and keep it very steady actually. So you can do that. Put your brass screws in. Again, you don't need to over tighten them. Uh, you are screwing this into plastic and with Mark IIs, some of the decks can be quite old. So you don't want to uh, over tighten them and break the plastic and find that your target light is now loose and you can't screw it back in and you've got to go and buy a new hole uh, casing for it. So with it screwed in nicely you can now feed your cables back through very gently being careful not to pull any cables loose or rub anything in the wrong way like so. Replace the rubber housing Now, if that's the only modification you're going to do, here you can put your screws back into the base and screw the legs back on. Um, but as I'm going to be doing some more modifications to this, uh, I'm going to leave it like this. Turn it back over. Remove the top if you want to. And as you can see, the cable is nicely through at the bottom here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the brown and orange cable with the connector on it, feed it back under the cables for the pitch control. And you can only put this in one way as there's only two pins and a one pin, and it's a two pin and a one pin on there. So you can't get it the wrong way. If you have got it the wrong way and it's not fitting in properly, don't push it because you're going to end up bending the connectors. So gently pop that on, little click, and it's in. 
make sure the cables are fed underneath the PCB board just nicely and this is where you're going to need your replacement cable tie feed the cable tie underneath the cables this is just to secure them out of the way and keep them nice and tidy now obviously you don't need to tighten this up completely it's only just to hold them out of the way so hold them out of the way like that and then snip off the extra bit of cable tie so it doesn't touch the bottom of the deck or anything else like that and there you go that's your target light modified replace all the parts screw everything down um, and plug it in and give it a test and if it's working it should look like this